Hi everyone. Well, the worst part about this storm system is the heavy rain. We're not seeing a lot of dangerous conditions as far as wind or hail or tornadic activity, but somewhere down to the left there under the part that says live sky cam is Whataburger Field, and I do believe that the game tonight will be delayed. All right, let's take a look at what's going on uh, right now. We do have the uh, flash flood warning out for the uh, Atascosa River. Actually, that's the Aransas River there, and a marine warning is out for the coastal areas of San Patricio, Nueces, and Clayburg County. That's a marine warning, but that is it. And a flash flood watch indicating more rainfall expected uh, overnight and again tomorrow. This uh, is till 7 tomorrow morning. I'm pretty sure that's going to be extended into Saturday because there's plenty more where this came from. And right now we've got uh, very heavy rain, but it has weakened somewhat as it's moved into the coast and the city here, but it's still coming down pretty hard across the region and it is going to push on through. Then we'll have a period of light rain uh, for an hour or so before this area comes in from the southwest down in the Hebronville area right now. So here's the heavy rain from uh, Refurio to east of Woodsboro between Taft and Aransas Pass and Portland out into the bay. All that fresh water in the bay from Mother Nature right there across the city and uh, down to the south. As we uh, look in a little bit closer here, you can see it's approaching Rockport and Fulton. And again, Aransas Pass, uh, where the shrimpery is going to be taking place in about a week. And then there's Gregory right there and trade winds seeing the heavy rain and across the bay too. And then into the downtown area and along Ocean Drive all the way out to Texas A&M Corpus Christi. So here is a look at Whataburger Field. It is raining moderately there right now. And uh, again, there'll be light rain behind this, so the heaviest of rain there will be ending. And hopefully they'll get that big game in that uh, Alan will tell us about in a few minutes. There it is along Ocean Drive in the central part of the city. Also heavy rain out here along 77 near Driscoll. And additional activity coming in from the southwest and into Mexico. So we still have this to ride up over us tonight. But with the atmosphere cooling off, it'll be stable. And that's indicated by the potential hail as there isn't any in the region right now. So that is certainly good news. Look at this in 3D. You can see these storms are pretty heavy. The leading edge of them have moved out into the bay. And again, they're not massive in uh, height, so they're not severe in nature, and that's good news, as these are topping out at about 32,000 feet right now. So we have 70 degrees of thunderstorm and northwest winds behind a little front at 10 miles an hour. With more rain coming, the flood potential in the coastal bend tomorrow is elevated, and uh, he's not going anywhere this evening because it's going to be wet, as you can see right here, till after midnight with uh, temperatures in the uh, 70s and cooling off. The big game out at Whataburger Field, again, 74 degrees and a thunderstorm uh, going on now. Variable winds 8 to 15. I do believe the game will be delayed because of this and the front coming in with the lightning in the area too, all because of an upper level disturbance and instability that we've been talking about much of the week. That's not going to get out of here until Saturday, and then we'll see an improvement, uh, a vast improvement in our weather as we will dry out. Take a look on the seven day forecast. Showers and thunderstorms now will end later tonight and then pick up again tomorrow and likely into Saturday. Then it dries out and 88 Sundays be a good day as will Monday and stifling heat returns Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday.